what's going down, Commanders? Just a little update on the Rhino XI. I finally got him to level 13. I did put a video out on the weekend of the War Bard using him as bait, but I wanted to test him out in some of these other bases. Now I can hit air, so I'm going to run him in a Thorium and probably a Shadow Ops V, or IV, should I say. They've changed them. So now I can I can use this and, and just tank out some of the anti-air anti -air or floaters. Anti-air? Airborne, should I say. Takes no damage off these. Let's kill that. Take, take zero damage off these because they ain't high enough damage. I'm going to run him over this way. And I'm going to run him in from this angle. Oh, he's a little bit out. Let's see if I can hit that without hitting a mine. Yep. Bang. Bang. Hit that. Yeah, he's strong. He's really strong. As long as I don't hit a mine, I think he's going to come through this base easily. Hit that. Oh, that, that, that hurts. Let's shoot that out of the sky. He's really strong, actually. I'm gonna. I wonder how he's gonna get on in the. Let's kill them. I wonder how he get on in the shadow ops base. Something a little bit more up to date. See if I can boom that and see if it kills everything around him. It does. Splash on him is massive. Absolutely massive. Yeah, it does make a big difference. So 11, level 11 is where you get the, you get the AA turret to come with it. Oh, let's get that helicopter there. Got to test him out in PvP, but right now PvP for me shot to shit. Ain't worth it. Right, let's find a Shadow Watch where the that one to do. Where the units are a little bit uh more more powerful. Obviously, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful and not ram bulldoze him. Zoom in. The only problem I got with this is the, the low range is very, the range is very low. One shot in them. Right, I'm going to run him over this way a little bit. And I'm going to go for this. And then all the bunkers, hopefully. I wonder if that will tag both bungers. If I go there, will it tag both? No. Helicopter. One shots that as well. And it hits moving helicopters, which is uh, not the normal for kickside. Most of the moving stuff nowadays, kickside don't let you hit if, if it's moving. So it does target track them. Another helicopter there, I want that. Wonder if I can boom all these in one hit. Yep, fuck, you know, this, this is a beast. Let me just get rid of that. Oh, they're coming for he's coming for me. One shot's that as well. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that one. And that helicopter there. Not even a bar down so far. Right, how much damage is one of them geos gonna give him? Not a lot. This is a monster of a unit. 
There we go. We've just gone down down a by bar. Just going to get out of the way of that geo because they do seem to give him a little bit of damage. Right now, I'm going to have to rush for all of these geos. So that one first. Yeah, the geos definitely do give it a little bit of damage. Not much though, I wouldn't say it's a hell of a lot. It's a very, very tidy little unit. Going to be a bit of fun. And this kicks like, like, like they normally do. They they up the, the damage on everything by miles. These have stopped working. I didn't notice that before. Oh, no, 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 they didn't. I thought they stopped working because I've reduced the power down to a certain level. But they haven't. I wonder if running this dragon's teeth over in low wire... How long it takes to kill it? Pretty much instantly. Very, very good unit. It's going to be a bit of fun to use in the events. I have actually stopped upgrading me Kraken to keep this, get this one to twenty first. It doesn't look like he gets affected by the... Because he's bulldozing them, it doesn't affect him. Is there any other bases I can try this on before I leave you guys? Let's try it. Yeah, let's try a postal, see if they do give me any damage. Just one more base and then I'll let you guys go. If you're watching, if you watch this far, that is... Ooh, I didn't know this base had them in it. Let's zoom in. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that and see if the splash under it kills. If it splashes under, no. Well, not, not so far, should I say? So that definitely affects it. That slow mo definitely affects it off these. Uh, I forget what it's called actually. Kronos. I think they're called. Definitely affects it the slow mo. But it's still tanking damage like a champ. Literally nothing. How's it? Yeah, I suppose the go-go bar in the, and player bases is what's going to mess this one up. Still half health, just below. Tidy little unit, you know. I, I think the repair time six hours though. I do want to now let him die so I can see the re actual repair time because I can't remember myself. See the splash. See if it kills all that. No. So it splashes still hit and miss as to whether you get everything done. Why have they put that building in this? It makes no difference. Why would they put a PvP building in this uh, base? And that, by the way, that, that PvP attacking building is dog shit. All that time upgrading it, and it's, it ain't worth it anymore. Well, that's that base done, and I've, I've, what is it, three bases now? 
I know they're not, not top of the right line bases, but kicks I don't put no top of the line bases out anymore. Oh, hang on. I should have given that away. Can I give it away still? Yeah. I'll give this base away. That isn't a bad little unit there. You just... Three decent sized bases hit, hit by it. You know, not obviously not event bases, but it's worth worth taking into the event. See, see what you can get away with one with one run through. If you can get a couple of run throughs with that, what, just that one unit, maybe even put some something else with it. I think this is going to be a beast. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da, guys.